Alrighty. Kita ba na usan? Agnas no. <laughs> He's mad at me. I always give him like 10 rand, 20 bucks. Hi everybody, it's a new day. I and a new vlog. I suppose this is where the new vlog is starting. Yeah. Oh my god. Here we are, sisters. Um okay, so <laughs> There's a lot of stuff rolling around in my car right now. Hi, everybody. It's a new day. It's a new vlog. Um, a rather exciting one. There's a couple of things that I'm going to be sharing in this vlog. Um, I'm going somewhere on Saturday. That's just, I'm so excited. I'm in a spot in my life where I feel... <sighs> A sense of relief a sense of um, you know this time last week I was very overwhelmed I felt like I had a lot on my plate I felt like I'm stressed I don't know I feel like I've taken on too much and this week actually starting yesterday I feel relief I feel like I can manage things right now. You know, I'm in a place in my life where I can manage stuff. And that it's because <laughs> I am now finally a registered, registered, qualified, okay, hello, registered and qualified mental health and personal development coach yes life coach things to the ding 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 i'm so excited um it's a year later and this path of my life is so important to me because through through my content through my life through just who i am as a person i've always felt this pull towards helping others i've always felt this pull towards my life is more my purpose should be around helping others you know what i'm saying and my content kind of reflected that as well um so to know that a year later here we are all the assignments all the stresses all the books all the long nights you know just yeah all the coaching sessions that i've done with family members all the coaching sessions that i've done with my mates my partner also came in and helped me out it was we're here now and i'm so excited i've registered my business i am going to be consulting in the next few weeks so if you want my services child but i'll talk about that a little bit later um, and I've registered my business. My business is called Life by Design with Kateo. I'll just Life by Design. But if you want to find me online on Twitter, it's Life by Design with Kateo. On Instagram, Life by Design. On LinkedIn, Life by Design. On everywhere, all the platforms, it's Life by Design. And there'll be a lot of things showing up on those platforms as well. So very 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 excited very 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 excited um i feel good i feel good and then the other thing that i feel really really good about is because i got sick and tired of always being told you know it would be so great if you released a journal if you did a wellness journal or if you did a whatever I got it. <laughs> I created one. Yay! I am actually on my way to the printers to pick up my first sample batch. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, my family members have seen it. My friends have seen it. They've seen it on... Um, uh, la, la, la. What is this? They've seen it on PDF and I've sent it to them and my partner's seen it 
and they love it and they are like oh my god we're gonna buy it we're gonna buy it so yeah it's a wellness workbook and it is by Gatleo. um also you know it, uh, uh, the team the life by design team so i'm so excited it's about gratitude it's about mental wealth mental wealth actually mental wealth mental health it's about gratitude it's about oh man and i picked up the first sample yesterday and i was like mm, i feel like these da, 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 this should change and i quickly did the changes and then i picked up wow traffic wonderful do i have petrol yes i do and then i picked up uh the second and then now i'm going to go up and pick up the second sample these are just samples this is how it's gonna look this is not the finished product so after i get this one then i'm going to take it to a different set of printers um, so yes there'll be a workbook for you guys a mental health and wellness workbook by me and who am i <laughs> at this point who am i but i feel grateful I am just, I'm full of gratitude and I'm full of, I'm humbled at the fact that it was hard. It was hard. In some instances, it was so hard. Uh, why is my skin peeling? Where moments where I felt like I just, I just want to give up. This is not worth it anymore. I want to shut it all down. I want to shut YouTube down. I want to shut da 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 da. I just want to be a normal person who wakes up, goes to work in the morning, and no one knows me, and that's that. But then something would always pull me back and say, no, but this is, this is, it's not something, it's God. And God would always say, I am pulling you to something. Bear with me. And the waiting season is often the hardest. And I found myself in a waiting period for, for quite a number of things. I found myself in a waiting period with, you know, my, my social media career. I, I still feel like I'm in a waiting period, even though things are getting better. Um, but it's still like I haven't, I haven't peaked. I haven't gotten to that place. But then I realized that, no, my social media career is a stepping stone to the bigger calling that I have. And this is the calling that God is saying to me, this is what I want you to do. I want your purpose to be to help others, not to be the next biggest social media sensation or to have campaigns come. Oh my God, this man is going to crash into me. Old man going to crash into me. Trafficking eka, nane? So, um, so that is what God is calling me to. God is saying, yes, I want these people all over to know you, to know who you are. But I want them to know what you are about to do for them through me. And I'm just like, okay. It's a hell of a blessing. It's a hell of a blessing, chaps. And I... I don't know man I don't know man I'm so glad I have my glasses on because I'm blushing like a little Popeye like a little Bari so to know that I'll be there helping out not only myself with the mental health journey of my life but helping out others nothing like it man nothing like it
maybe that's a little bit better maybe the sun is not <clears throat> as strong hi everybody it's friday i really don't know where this vlog is gonna go gonna be i've had the busiest three weeks and i mean busy as in screen time work time phone time um busy even on weekends it's just i'm tired it's friday today and i want friday to friday and weekend for me uh what i haven't been sharing is that there's also been in the last two three weeks there's also been a lot of growing pains and uh a lot of disagreements um just being busy has taken its toll uh being busy has taken its toll on my on my personal life as well because now we're both busy so it's it just took its toll on us a little bit we were you know the reality of um relationships is that they're not going to be perfect all the time and uh, you know and we're all going to go isha and stuff but um my point is you know sometimes when you're so overwhelmed with life work family what what you tend to be quite snappy and irritable to the ones you love the most and uh Diesel and I were kind of guilty of being that way with each other uh, in the last couple of weeks because it's just been so stressful for both of us. But we're working it out. It's fine. We're fine now. I was talking to him now. But, like, guys, it's, it's me just trying to say... We all have that. We all have those moments where we're so overwhelmed where there's so much happening there's so much that it needs your attention people that need your attention that you feel like you're being pulled from all ends um and 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 it sucks you know what i'm saying it fucking sucks okay um so i haven't had an opportunity to just have a weekend where i'm doing absolutely nothing <laughs> I remember somebody commenting and saying that I love it when you say nothing and when you say morning. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a thing. I do that a lot now. Um, there goes the sun again. But uh, this weekend, I I I I I want this weekend to be my weekend. And when I mean my weekend, I don't mean alone. I mean, you know rest do what i want to do i'll probably be with diesel maybe i don't know but just do what i want to do my own pace wake up at freaking you know like 11 12 you know what i'm saying spend just eat popcorn and binge on netflix and whatever and then when there's no power leave the house and go have a nice lunch somewhere I don't know that's what i want to do this weekend i also really do need probably maybe next week um i was having this conversation with my sister as well i need to book i need to do my my self-care uh treatments the things that i do to look after myself to feel good i haven't been to do my nails in three three weeks I don't know i haven't done my toes in even longer um and not only that i also want to get a full body massage a facial i want the wax okay i want the wax <laughs> uh the works not the wax <laughs> i want the works i want it all and i was talking to my sister about it earlier this week and uh we were talking about how we should both uh book and have like a spa day together and get all of the stuff done um so i i really think i should do that next week um i think by now you guys are familiar with life by design and maybe i've spoken about it i'll speak a little bit about it a little bit more about it when i get to get back home 
but now it's it's that that's kept me so busy over the last couple of weeks and school and finishing off and all of that registering businesses doing this making sure things are all right online this this um you know sorting out SARS things and all of that so it's just it's been a lot man you know banking stuff it's been a lot um Uh, so now so now I just I'm taking today I'm taking this morning this day I'm gonna get my brows done because my brows are terrible and I'm at Mall of the South now so I'm gonna get my brows done and then I'm just then I'm just gonna sit and have breakfast and read I've, I've barely read anything um sit have breakfast guys guys okay okay thanks guys uh then i'm gonna sit have breakfast read just then i'm gonna go home um so before i show you exactly what it is that i got uh this is the book that i'm currently reading this is uh nervous conditions by tt danga remba Remga, Remga, Danga Remga. Um, and so far, I'm only 44 pages in. It's pretty slow, but it's a good read. I've highlighted a couple of things. It's got a killer, killer, killer first liner uh, that just says, I was not even sorry when my brother died. And I was just like, I'm sorry, ma'am, 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 why? why? <laughs> so, uh, so far right now it's we're following the uh, life of tambu who is the one tambu zai who is the one who said that i'm not sorry my brother died and we're following her um life with her family living on uh, the family farm and how you know boys always had her older brother always had access to education something that she's always wanted uh but never had the access to that because um, the family didn't have the finances for it and just basically the I think the social message between the commentary here is the how women were seen in that time I mean I'm reading something about it it's somewhere in the 1960s and how women were seen and girl children were seen at that time like they, they're supposed to be there only just to you know, uh, 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 heard the, um, uh, what's this, the fields and the farms and grow the crops and cook and clean and that's pretty much it. But I think this story is pretty much, uh, um, it reminds me a little bit of Girl with the Louding Voice because I feel like it has to do a lot with her getting an education and the emancipation of women from that stereotype. Um, and I think it's over a span of certain generations. So we'll see how it goes. That's all I know. And uh, yeah, burns her, di her desire for education. Yeah, okay. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Really excited. So far, I'm about 44 pages in. They ain't even that deep, y'all. Okay. I had to buy myself a drink. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Ah, shit. I know. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm tired. Um, I need to pull myself a drink. So let's do that. Let's do that. So I just came back from the stove, from the mall. And um, I met two wonderful women. So I met two really wonderful women at the, at the mall. Um, so this is just a quick shout out to Nomsa, who was just amazing, <laughs> and Mbomi. Mbomi saw me sitting, reading, and having my, my breakfast. And, um, so when I turned my head and she was like, I really like you, I'm like, girl! And I went out to her, gave her a hug, this, this, and then just before I left, I met Nomsa as well. So it was lovely to meet you ladies. Cheers, guys. Cheers, hein? Cheers, guys. And... Another name that's always been plaguing the back of my mind. Sometime last year, 
I went to Eastgate with Naledi and we, we, we went into a certain store and the guy in the store came up to me and he said, my girlfriend loves your, your uh, uh, videos, if you could give her a shout out and all of that. And I remember taking uh, a picture with him so that he could show her that he saw me on that day, but her name is Nomnoto. And I've always said that I am going to give you a shout out. So if you're watching this, I never forgot. I just kept on, kept slipping my mind, but your name was always in there, Nomnoto. Hi, your man said I must give you a shout out. So hey, girl. <laughs> All right. So, chaps, I went and I got my brows done. Thanks, Kanye. I love you. And uh, uh, then I went to have a mosey at this camp because there's certain... Certain things that need replacing, you know, in the bathroom, you know, your loofers, your, your scrub gloves, your all that. I, I knew that for me, it's time, you know, it's time. Um, and of course, the huge had to get myself a, a, a what you call this thing, apple cider vinegar. But these gloves, I hope Lekha Pagadi gloves it. This is from Body Refresh. These are the bath gloves. Really great for when you're bathing, exfoliating, and I... And I really want to use this weekend to just take some time out. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll, I'll sit you down and we'll, we'll have a conversation about that. But I uh, had to pick up a fresh set of toothbrushes. So in the, um, in, the, in, the, in the evening, I brush with my electric toothbrush. And in the morning, because my mouth is fairly clean, it's just, you know, the, the, the morning breath, morning stench, all of that, I normally brush with a manual brush. So the one that I do have is kind of running out and um running out it's old and uh, uh 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 diesel as well so pretty much changing our bathroom stuff had to get another one of these for practice and then uh i picked up these because i want to try them i know i've got i've got a ton of sheet masks but i wanted to try this one by Dermatin TS. This is the anti aging facial sheet mask. I'll always take anything anti aging. I will always, always take something anti aging all the time. And then I took the five minute under eye masks by Skin Republic. Now, these ones, it's going to be the first time I try them, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then the skin strategy, no strips. See? Thing. I love these ones. These are the ones that I typically buy and then you just put it on here and then you So maybe tomorrow I'll have like a me day Or you know just do Ukila bona Just take a little bit extra longer in the shower Just maybe even take a bath. You know I don't know but we'll see but not today Today is Friday child. Today we're here. We're here honey. It's been a long week Don't ask me why I bought these. I don't know but these are my favorite flavors of flavor of Doritos. I love these. This, this particular, but because I'm not eating chips right now, <laughs> I opted to buy the small ones. And right now when I look at them, I don't know why I bought them. But when I was in the, you know the, the death aisle, you know the aisle when you're waiting to pay. Exactly, I picked that up. But uh, I also picked up the, these, you, these just looked really good. This USN Trust Crunch High Protein Bar. I really want to try this one. I don't know. Uh, it looks really good. It looks like an album Oreo Nyana. Mmm, cookies and cream flavor. Yeah. And then, because here's the thing, gents. I don't eat chocolate. Very rare that I eat chocolate. The only form of chocolate that I have is Astros, and that's typically me dousing them onto a big bowl of uh, popcorn. That's pretty much how I. I Netflix and chill and I, and I watch a movie or series. I'll be like a big bowl of popcorn, share it with Diesel. Then we astro it on top. Um, Justin, my friend from high school, <laughs> Justin taught me that trick and I love him for it. I absolutely love him for it because I've, I, I oh, mm, some people love doing the popcorn trick with uh m&ms some people love doing it with uh sour babies jelly babies i'm just i love it with astros because that salt and sweet excellent okay 
And we have these. These are the ones that I want to try and just randomly when I'm halalat, halalaring something. Carbo light, um, future life protein crunch, yogurt coated, huanta, huanta, all that stuff. Okay. The thing is, it looks really nice. Like if you look at the back, it it, it looks really nice, bro. I don't know. So I'm here. I'm in my lounge. Okay. Uh, I was thinking maybe we should have a chat. This is my coffee table setup now. Kind of over it, kind of over this whole candle, what what situation. But uh, I need to film this along with filming a reel at the same time. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to. Oh my God, it feels like someone is standing behind me there. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Home Essentials, a couple of other stores. I actually don't remember. And I went looking for a change here. Um, and I had seen a couple of things before then and I thought okay this would be nice this would be nice so I went there looking for something for here and not only did I find that I also found because the seasons are changing I also found some pillowcases for the pillows that are on there as well so bunch of stuff I need to show you and uh, I haven't been able to do that i've never had the time but now i do first the first bag out is from at home now the seasons are changing we are in autumn right now and as much as i love um fresh flowers i normally put them up there i never really put them here or here but i normally put them up there but here i wanted some sort of uh autumnal floral arrangement and i found this at a at home and i found it for about 100 150 and i felt i, I have a plan for it I'll, I'll show you everything but um i got that from at home fine great and also i needed to pick up the refills for my diffusers here now i pick up refills i'm not the girl who who buys the, the thing when i have the things here no i pick up refills and i pick up the reed sticks and i and i keep it moving mm -hmm. and then from home essentials this is what i went in there looking to find now my coffee table is white as you can see and i wanted to move this this is square and this is more circular this is a, a, a you can use it your perfume on there you can use it as a central decoration piece for your coffee table for wherever man you can have it in your kitchen have like a candle on there and whatever so there is a setup that i uh, that i wanted and this was 289 at home essentials and it matches incredibly well with the colors in this room so i'm really really excited to see how we're gonna oh my god i love it i love so good okay uh-huh and then again at uh, Home Essentials, I picked this up. So this, again, weather is changing, right? So I want oh, this one. I might use down there by the by the by the um, dining table. This one is the one that's going to sit on here, and I'll show you everything. I'll, I'll set it up. So I got this again. It's a faux plant, but for me, it's fun. I keep real plants and full plants alive for forever. So we're good. We're good. I got green hands. Uh, what else here? So this is also, yes. So this is also from um, home, home Essentials. These are just two small candles that are also going to uh, form part of this uh, decorative piece here and all of that. So really excited. The reason why I'm not doing this, I, I have to do an Instagram. There's a bunch of things that I need to shoot with this before I completely set it up. Um, but then for my cushions, my cushion covers, do you see the theme, the green and the white? So I found these at uh, Mr. Pross MRP. That's a very faint green, which looks very nice against the stuff that I got from at home. It's lovely. And then on the other side, it's cream and that faint green as well. So I picked up four of these because the scatter cushions that I have, there's four of them. So we're going to do that as well. So we're going to change that up as well. And then what else? 
not just a, a room spray because I'm a room spray kind of kind of girl and this is honey bush and it smells so nice oh it smells so nice. oh yes it smells so good and then I got these green and white dish towels as well these are the ones the kitchen kitchen cloths the microfiber kitchen cloths which are gonna sit on my oven door so no it's not gonna stay because my door is like goes like this the handle goes like this anyway whatever we find a spot for it okay and then from checkers i also picked up the william dabs luxury hand wash uh pomegranate and uh jasmine the 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 hand wash and the body cream um and the first time i saw these were at diesel's place in his bathroom he had this and I use it and I'm like, design! That smells good! Oh my god, Diesel. Yeah? You know? Um, so... <laughs> so, I, I wanted to try them out. So, that's what we are going to put in the guest bathroom. Because uh, we are running out. Okay? We are running out. Wearing trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed You like to pass out You like to drive and get down and dirty like like the bad guy You want some love, me like when you feel like calling a midnight mm, You got the best of me You got me losing sleep So when you are like me, you forget that you buy books sometimes. And honestly, my book buying thing is getting out of hand now. And I think I explain it to myself as, hi, I'm also supporting the authors, which I am, genuinely which I am. But I, I've been extremely busy over the last couple of weeks that the only way I would reward myself is, is to go to Dr. Nandi <laughs> and to buy books. Okay, I'm very tired. I sorted it out downstairs. It looks amazing. It looks so ready. It looks me. Like, for somebody who wears dark clothes, I really like a bright and light house along with the furniture. And because I was saying in one of my last vlogs that when your house is really fully furnished, there's like what else is there to do you know except change around things here and there and that's what I did for now there's a couple of things that I realized that I'm missing like pillar candles and like two or three pillar candles and a couple of more refills for the diffuser but that's pretty much it it's fine it's fine it's fine it's okay um so anyway we're in the overs now I'm going to show you these books that I uh picked up okay and then I, I might wrap it up uh, oh no one 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 I think you guys already know I spoke about uh, everything I know about love by Dolly Alderton I started reading this I I was uh, let's see, 27 pages in and I stopped because it was it was entertaining I loved it but then I don't know. I just wasn't in the mood for it. So I put it down and that's when I started reading Nervous Conditions, which I told you about yesterday and started listening to some audiobooks as well. Uh, on a different day, I got this book and I was so excited for this one. 
I'm doing everything in my power not to pick this book up as yet. This is Before I Let You Go by Kennedy Ryan. And I found it at an Estoril Books and I can't wait. It's about a divorced couple, second chance romance, second chance at love story. It's about a divorced couple who's got kids and um, just pretty much how they navigate uh, being divorced and having their children and potentially also falling back in love again. But what doesn't make this just a romance and it makes it the kinds of romances that I like, much like Seven Days in June by Tia Williams, this one has a lot more serious topics in it. And grief, I believe, is one of the uh, uh, themes in this book. Grief of what? I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, it just says their love was supposed to last forever, but when life de delivered blow after devastating blow, Yasmin and Josiah found that love has its limits and it couldn't save their marriage. Ooh. I can't wait to read it. Really can't wait to read it. That's that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. And uh, last year, Jonathan Ball Publishers sent me a book by Frederick Bachman. I love Frederick Bachman. I read A Man Called Uva by him. His latest release is a novel called The Winners, which I have downstairs. Jonathan Ball sent it to me. But that is pretty much a sequel to this novel. This is Bear Town. And it follows a this town and the people of this town and it's like a it's like a hockey town they're very big on hockey and all of that snow capped it's it's like a snowy town right um and the people of the town are so close knit however something happens that divides the town into two one of the hockey players or a young person um is convicted of having committed a crime along the lines of sexual assault and he is i believe a star hockey player or something like that in the town he's someone who is like very you know loved and respected and all of that and um so this revelation divides the town into two and um the the search or the conquest the quest for truth is then left up to the hands of one person who has the courage to speak the truth that seems like no one else wants to hear. So I've heard wonderful things about this book. Um, I also wish I could start reading this. Something about Frederick Bachman's writing is, um, hey, yo, a man called Uva, guys. Yeah. And one book that I've really wanted to get my hands on and I'm so excited that I found it and I found one copy of this at the bargain books near Diesel's place. And uh, this is Bunny by Mona Award. And the reason why I picked this one up is because of Lala from Books and Lala. This is one of her favorite books and she talked about how it's kind of like dark, you know. So this girl um, goes into her, into an MFA program in university. Her name is Samantha. And there she meets these group of girls who are very clicky and, um, you know, like the popular girls, like what Regina George and them. And they call each other bunny. And then Samantha finds herself drawn to this group of girls and immediately, um, well, not long after that, they, they pull her into their circle and she goes inexplicably down a rabbit hole of... <laughs> Not the rabbit, not the rabbit, a rabbit hole of, um, you know, what things that they do and it's it's a bit witchy as well. If you've seen the movie The Craft, I doubt. You kind of have to be around my age group to have seen that movie. If you've seen the movie The Craft, it's around those kinds of lines. So I'm really also excited to read this one. Um, so yeah, those are the books that I have here. What I did want to share with you today, before I shut down my camera and take it and recharge it again so it's ready for tomorrow, is I have officially, let me get closer, right? I have officially done my workbook. This is my Live in Wellness workbook. And yes, it's a workbook because it requires you to work. 
and fill things in. Um, and because my channel and my new career path with the coaching and all of that has taken a very heavy presence of mental health and wellness, personal development, I felt this was the best thing to release right now. This is around 45 odd pages and it's a workbook that forces you to look into yourself and be truly authentic when you fill in these kinds of the prompts that are here. Um, it just asks you about your tasks, what are your plans ahead, what are your short-term goals, what are your long-term goals, um, what, what does your diet look like, how are you taking care of yourself, there's just so many things, uh, there's monthly self-care, there's a gratitude review, um, self-reflections, your mental needs, physical needs, life goals, I'll definitely do kind of like a cutaway where you can see closely what's in here because it's white so it's going to be quite exposed you don't want to see it and at the back is just a little bit of information about me and i'm really excited to be able to um sell these off to you this is something that you can put next to your bedside table and bring yourself to it authentically every night because it doesn't it's not going to work if you're not intentional um, I've given it to some of my family members um, to try out and I'm giving them some time with it before I ask what do you think blah blah, blah. you know the people who have seen it love it but um, I'm gonna set it for pre-order first because you don't want to order in bulk it's a business thing right you don't want to order in bulk and then have two people buy it um, but it's a workbook, it's fairly small, so I'm going to try and keep the pricing to the minimum as much as I can, taking into account costs for courier and sending it out to you and all of that. Um, so that might be um, that might be the one thing that might elevate the price slightly. I'll try and elevate it as little as I possibly can. Um, and uh, so this is just a, it's a trial run. Um, this is supposed to live with you, be with you, you can take it anywhere with you, you can slot it into your bag and on your days of self-care and uh, me time, me time moments, you're doing your, your, your skin care and whatever, you can pull this up, sit down, pour yourself a drink and then authentically bring yourself to it and answer it and, and it, it's going to help you um, kind of, you know, uh, uh, be honest with yourself about where you are. Uh, what things need improvement, uh, what things you need to look into, what things are going really well, and that kind of thing. So for my clients who are going to be um, uh, Life by Design clients, this comes as part of being my client anyway, um, along with other things, other tools and worksheets and things like that. But this is something that I want to make available to all of you. Um, so I'd really love to know, just by commenting below and all of that, uh, how many of you would be interested in something like this, just so that I can roughly see. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll pretty much show up on, on Instagram and, and Life by Design pages and all of that, where you can see it properly and thoroughly, and, and there'll be pictures and there'll be this, so yeah, that's what I, that's that's my gift to you guys um, it's it's a baby it's a passion project and we'll see how it goes and then as time goes on we'll fill it up even more and we'll do different things as we go along but that's what I wanted to share with you guys I feel weird about it <laughs> I'm feeling kind of weird um, but that's it from my end, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try and rest, guys. It's uh, been a crazy three weeks. Um, mentally, it's... it's I, I, I'm fine. No, I'm not fine. <laughs> no, not. I'm tired. Um, there was just a lot to do in the last three weeks. Wrap up school, set up my business do this, do this, work on this, banking stuff, SARS stuff, this, this, this. On top of that, I'm going to my job. On top of that, I'm creating content. On top of that, yada, yada, yada. 
so for many of at, at the very least three of the weekends that were before this one i was busy all those weekends either working on an assignment or doing this there so um now is the one weekend where shame man i'm i'm gonna relax <laughs> i'm gonna take some time to myself and relax maybe catch a movie maybe just wake up and you know sit, sit in the sunroom and read and you know just 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 do things i love to do cook um just shower myself with love because i myself am a project of the labor of my love right so um yeah yeah that's that's pretty much it for me for today and there's diesel okay so i'll check in with you guys tomorrow okay.